Oh, the mighty Honda needs some help. Blew a fork seal on it. So, you get the appropriate parts here and some nice Honda fork oil. Uh, that buzzing you're hearing is the cleaner there. Uh, clean the carb on this uh, chainsaw. But, uh, yeah, the mighty Honda. Uh, it's in the shop. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty damn hot outside. It's like uh, 95. So I brought it in here. I'm going to work on it because we got the AC going. It's nice and cool in here, but this is basically what's going on with the, with the fork seal. Right there. You can see it. You can pass the wipers. So rather than let it get all hurt and stuff and, and all that, I'm going to uh, take the front end off of this thing. Now I've done this before. This is the second time I'm having to replace these seals on here. So uh, it's not, it's, it's sort of a big job, but it's not horrible. Uh, basically you put it on the center stand, you jack it up so the front wheel's off the ground, and then uh, you start taking it apart. And um, you know, there's a big huge spring in here which you gotta be careful about, but uh, it's not a big deal. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do here, we got the Honda up on blocks, front wheels off the ground. We gotta take this fender off the head. cranking in here today. It's uh, it's 95 out. Probably gonna get some boomers tonight. Okay, well, it's the next day. We had some uh, big storms last night. It cooled everything off pretty good. So, uh, Helper off now.
hanging by the, <coughs> the brake line, so let's put it up there for now. And now, front wheel. here I'm putting all the parts in but you can see that the brake uh, I mean the uh, fork fluid has been running down the whole thing here so it was time thing blew out uh, all at once. I mean it's been it's been leaking for quite a while but in recent uh, days it's gotten kind of critical here. So we uh, had to finally do something about it. Taking the, uh, you put these little caps over the the Allen heads, you know, decorative caps, and got my little uh, I have to get a different wrench for that one. grip on it. There we go. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to have to take this whole thing apart. And there's some big springs in here and stuff, so... We'll uh, get going on that.
All right, it's been a while since I've done this, so I'm going to have to go through and read a little bit on uh, how to take this apart without killing myself, because there is a big spring inside of there. And uh, we'll tackle the bad one first, and then, uh, you know, I got two sets of seals. I'm going to do the other one, too, just for, just for the heck of it. You know, it doesn't look too bad. I, I might leave it. All right, well, anyways, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so um, I've got the fork tube clamped in the bottom tree here. I'm just going to loosen uh, this cap. Uh, okay, that's all you need to do. take this out of here now and uh, there's a big honking spring inside of this thing so you want to be really careful um, what I'm going to do now is take this cap off of here and you to be really careful with the spring Okay. All right. There's the cap. Spacer. All right. Um, next thing we got to do is pour out the oil. spring in there with my finger. This is a uh, special fork oil. It's 10 weight. a bushing and this big huge spring so let's clean up this mess here Okay, next thing we got to do is get this bolt out of the end here. Ok, 
Okay. Oh boy, wasn't that fun. <laughs> Man, I I wrestled with this thing for an hour before I got it apart. And the culprit was this bolt, which they don't really tell you that the inside of this piston that it screws into spins around. So it's virtually impossible to get it out of there. And you got to get it out of there to get the uh, get the bottom separated. So I did that, and I did actually find a couple of, couple little nicks on this thing, which I honed down with my diamond stone, and that's probably what caused the seal to fail. But the dilemma is now this is some kind of weird bolt, and it's all chewed up so I do have a metric cap screw here and it's got a little bit too much of a head on it and it's a little too long so what I'm gonna do is throw this thing in the lathe and turn that into that and then hopefully we'll get this thing back together again cuz my god I'm beat man I I beat on this thing for an hour. It was uh, it was quite the battle, and you didn't want to really uh, watch me do that because there was a lot of swearing involved, and a lot of leather in the vise, and a lot of banging, and a lot of twisting, and a lot of stuff. And what I finally figured out here is it's not in the manual at all, but there's a little screw here, and if you take this out. You can jam this in there, a little screwdriver, and just provide enough friction on this part right here to keep it from spinning around while you get this bolt out. Because there's nothing, there's nothing to prevent this from spinning around. It's just, it's just a piston in a cylinder. So, anyways, yeah, that that was the uh, the epic battle of the century. Now, you know, the funny thing is, is the first time I took this apart, you know, years and years ago, this bolt came right out. So, I don't know what that was all about. But. So, anyways, um, I'm just going to turn this bolt down to the appropriate dimensions and put this thing back together. Okay, so, what I found is... There are a couple of little rock hits on this thing. And I ended up honing them down with my hone. So now we're ready to put this thing together. I got my new bolt here that I made. And I'm going to put this baby in here. Okay, first thing. Put this in here. Bolt right in the end here. All right. Hopefully, we'll never have to take that thing out again. But now that I've got this thing on video, we will remember what this little hole is for. It's not really fair that they don't tell you what to do with that thing. In the assembly manual, in the shop manual. Because if you don't know about that, it becomes a real pain in the ass.
gas oil uh, e seal. Stuff's pretty good. Pretty good stuff here. So just be in with a little dab. Gas oil. Baby wound in there. Oh. Okay, that baby's in there. Slider bushing uh, in there. Technically, you're supposed to have a tool for this, but you don't happen to have it. So, we're going to just wing it. Get the backup ring. And, get us a seat. So, okay, so there's some directions in here. The genuine Honda part. Okay, so. Okay, so we're going to get ourselves a little fork oil here. Coat this seal up. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you can't see this, but there is a writing on the top of this thing. So we will install the seal. And there's really nothing to that. Should fit right down in there. pushing on the seal surface here, I'm pushing on the outer ring. Alright, um, let me get the ring. Put that on. Okay, she's in the groove, rocking and rolling. Okay, dust seal. Put 
a little on this, a little juice on. You're good and greasy. Okay, now I just have to put the spring in, the spacer, the cap, and fill it up with fluid. Compress the fork tube and pour in. Alright, they give you a quantity. 45 cc's or 5.3 inches from the top. Um, this is 473, so it's going to be a little, almost a whole bottle. So we will put this down here. Pour in some juice. scale out and measure this. I'll set this baby to about an inch low. Still not touching. Still not touching. Okay, there we go, 5.3. Okay, uh, spring goes in. Alright, we'll final tighten that once we get it in the pinch bolts. Okay, one completed Honda Shadow fork. Now put this back in. You saw me take it out, so I'm not going to film that. And um, we'll get this baby back on the road here. See there was where these necks were. That's probably where it started leaking. But we got that taken care of. Alright, well she done. And putting it together was a lot more a lot easier than taking it apart. But I'm gonna take it out for a little spin now and see how it goes, but it looks like everything's back to its glorious self again. And uh yep, no casualties. But uh, word to the wise, man, 
they put this little screw here on Shawa Showa forks for a reason and they don't talk about it in the service manual they just say remove the bolt that goes up here and uh, man I'll tell you you know I've done this a couple of times and every time the bolt has just come right out but this time no way I mean maybe it's a little more wear making that thing spin a little easier or what but uh, it was not coming out and I beat the snot out of this thing for an hour and finally I figured well you know I'll just open this thing up and you know if there's a hole in there I'll jam something in there and sure enough that's exactly what that hole's for so uh, if you got a shower showa fork with that bolt in it that's what that's there for it's to help you get the uh, the bottom fork bolt that goes this way out all right so we'll be back in a little while we're going to take a little spin here all right well we're back and we're done riding and there ain't no leaking going on here so pretty happy with that and we'll see how it does over the long run now that I've uh, honed down all those uh, little pebble marks in it this one uh, I left it alone it wasn't leaking so uh, what the heck you know I got a I got a spare seal kit and uh, you know that's the story so uh, yeah it was quite the little project there anyways uh, thanks for watching